Welcome back to Get It Off The Glass. The LA Clippers are off to a pretty good start. Starting off 2-1 and one despite not having Kawhi Leonard. The first game they lost, it was also in overtime to the Phoenix Suns, who's also started off this season really good. And, but they were full strength that game, the Phoenix Suns, when they played the Clippers. And they only lost by three points in overtime. The next couple games, the Clippers beat. The next game, the Clippers beat the Denver Nuggets 109-104. to 104. Then the game, just last night, they beat the Warriors 112-104. to 104. And the Warriors were undefeated up until that point themselves so the LA Clippers are playing some really good basketball um, James Harden's moving the ball around just last night he had 23 points and 11 assists the other game against Denver let me check out his box score from that night I know it was something good 23 points and 16 assists so right now, James Harden is playing his type of basketball. Like he said, he don't need a system to operate in. He is the system. And he's proving it with this roster of really strong role players around him this season. Norman Powell has been playing really good himself. He had 37 points the other night against Denver. Zubak is also playing really strong. Harden is working really well with Zubak. And all these other role players. Derek Jones Jr. from the Western Conference champions last year. The Mavericks. He's now on the Clippers and playing really well also. He had 18 points last night against the Clippers. So with James Harden playing his back to his old ways, showing that he's the system, beat a couple of the top teams in the Western Conference, the Golden State Warriors, they beat the Denver Nuggets. Where does this put them when Kawhi Leonard returns? Because they're really playing good basketball right now. And when Kawhi Leonard returns, could he kind of like, Hold the basketball, slow things down, be a basketball stopper. And um, could he hurt the LA Clippers more than he helps them upon his return? Would they, could they even ask someone like Kawhi Leonard to try to take a reduced role? How is he going to respond to that? Could they ask Kawhi Leonard? To come off the bench as like the sixth man or something like that. If the if the Clippers continue their winning ways. Because I don't know how much longer it's even going to be. They said they have a plan for bring Kawhi Leonard back full strength. Now of course if Kawhi Leonard is back full strength. Like the Toronto Raptors version of himself. I mean there's no way you can add that and hurt the team. I don't, I don't think. But what you don't want is James Harden trying to defer. If James Harden's playing strong, because we've seen what James Harden can, he can almost practically disappear if he starts to defer too much. Right now, James Harden's in his group. So I feel like even no matter how strong Kawhi Leonard comes back, as long as the Clippers are winning, and playing strong under James Harden at point guard, really just doing what he does, and he's just to making plays and not feeling like he is um, obligated to like get somebody the ball so many times in isolation isolation situations or anything like that for Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard just kind of comes back and he gets it, get, and he's just getting where he fits in. If the Clippers are up to the continuing to win. When he does return from his knee inflammation. So go ahead and let me know what you think in the comment section. If the um, Clippers can continue winning 
with just James Harden playing the way he his old ways, like he did back in Houston. If you think the Clippers can continue winner, they you think they need Kawhi Leonard coming in full strength to do anything, or you think it just might be a fluke these past couple wins, and the uh, Clippers ain't gonna really do make too much noise or anything in the Western Conference. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section.